Hey guys. Today we gonna talk about crypto jacking and where do hackers use it, to this day. We talked a lot of hacking related things but do you know a technique that mines the cryptocurrencies without your knowledge and also with your computer owned power? The internet is amazing places for shopping. I love shopping, for your kind information. By the way, there are black hat hackers who always want to stole credit cards number or net banking information. And to protect the information, we use encryption. But nowadays, this trend is completely changed, hackers can now no longer need to steal your credit cards numbers, they just need your processing power of your CPU to mine their money. So, how these things are done? Normally, whenever you visit a website, generally compromised one, the hackers have inserted a piece of JavaScript which can be coded in such a way that the hackers can be used your processing power of CPU and behind the scene, it can be used for mining cryptocurrencies like Monero. Not only hackers are using it but a few companies are also testing it in mid-September like Pirate Bay instead of allowing ads on their website to produce revenues. But how do you know that your computer power is being used? There is only two way to check it that's if you notice that your computer fan is rotating more faster or your computer is producing more heat than the usual and second one is you can see the process of power and task manager. Now, there are two sides of argument. First one is as you know that internet is free to use by saying but companies around the world have to generate revenue from it to survive. So, you have to see a lot of advertisement like YouTube. So, instead of the first argument or instead of advertisement, you can give your processing power. I know some people will say that instead of ads, you can take my processing power but do you know you have to pay a lot of electricity bill or in case of a laptop, your battery power will drag too fast. And how do you protect your computer from this? You can disable JavaScript by going in your setting whenever it's not necessary or you can add an extension called, NoCoin in order to prevent this type of attacks. That's all for now. Guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, give it thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and goodbye.